So uh, this is chapter three. Okay. Um, review exercise. This is the exercise for uh, chapter two. Like we learn now uh, in chapter two the how how to understand image right? and image. How to how what is the set value? You know. Um, so this is just a review. If you are given this matrix, this matrix uh, representing an image with a row and column, so you can hopefully you can understand what is the pixel value, you know, what is the grayscale value, what is RGB. Okay, so if uh, if you are given this matrix and this is the notation this notation f45 f13 f32 this is the function of this matrix 45 uh, this is row and this is column so if you are asking to determine the pixel value of uh, f of one f means that this matrix is like image function of the image so the first value here the first number here is row and second is column so row one two three four column one two three four one hundred so this is how you read uh, this function so if if you are given this statement if fxy greater than 100, then fxy equals to 0. Means that uh, this is the statement to analyze this matrix image. So um, you look at this uh, any pixel value that greater than one greater than 100, then change that pixel value equals to 0. So to run this statement or to analyze or to implement this statement in this metric or image. So you just go one by one, uh, x. x is a uh, row column, one, one. So look at this pixel value. If this greater than 100, so one, one, that pixel value is changed to zero. So now the new value is zero. So this one, it's not true, so the, the existing value is remain as it is. Uh, it does does not change to any new value. So this is greater than hundred, change to zero. So this is the this is meant by the second one. Eh? If not detailed, if the if it, if it is just like this statement, so hopefully you can understand. Because if you first time look at this uh, statement sometimes it is hard and difficult for you to understand what is this unless it is uh, explained in this statement but this is not explaining well you know so i'm explaining to you okay so before we start let's have some review question from the previous class what is common image format right you can you can look at the a previous slide in, in the chapter two we have an image format like grayscale rgb uh, the three one sample per point black black and white three sample per point four sample per point an image represent in m by n matrix contain pixel values what is the format of the following metric image what is this, what is this format All right so if you look at here, zero and one, this is can be um, black and white. If you look at here, zero to two five five, this is a uh, gray scale. So that is the format. Okay. Um, I hope uh, before we go to the test uh, uh, within next two weeks, uh, all the basics for the image uh, understanding of pixel value matrix of the image. I hope that you can understand the, uh, the range of the pixel value 0 to 255, you know. Uh, if you still don't understand up to this class, uh, please uh, initiate yourself to, 
to to do the revision by looking at the slides and also watch the a short video as well as the online lecture one until four because we are now entering to a more theoretical and fundamental of the image processing if you still blur up to this now then then it's difficult for you to understand this chapter it's blur it, it will be blur forever okay don't don't blur until the end of the semester eh? because because knowledge is very important eh? knowledge for me is knowledge is very important i'm 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 believe uh, for you a great is important and fast for the subject is important. but slowly you change your mind knowledge is very important because later when as i as i told you in the previous class you are become an engineer so if you have this knowledge it is advantage for you later when you work as engineer especially in in factory i always uh, open uh, open the portal for job portal you know in fact um I use the job for portal to advertise uh, to find the engineer. So I'm quite familiar with the job portal uh, in in Malaysia. They are they are very they are very expensive uh, uh, for the employee or company if they want to post any vacancies in the in the portal. Uh, I don't have experience with the job streets, but I do. I do try myself to post vacancies in the job street, but when I look at the, um, uh, I mean, the employee need to pay some fee, then I, I just, I just like do, do not continue posting job vacancies in the in the job streets. But they are they, uh, they are admin contact contacted me asking. Uh, to continue posting a job because employee have to pay but i managed to pay uh, for the job street uh, employee have to pay first before uh, their advertisement um, will appear in the portal in the job street but some of the port other portal there are there are few la, portal uh, um, the job portal in Malaysia. Some of the portal you can post first because they because they are not established like job streets. They want to they want to compete with job streets. You can post first. So I post it. I post the vacancies. And um and and a few uh. I, uh, application you know uh, uh, come into my uh, inbox and um, I just can view only one application for free for example I receive 10 uh, applications I just can open one application the rest I have to pay to the to that job portal maukerja.com one one view if i want to see the resume for one applicant it cost me 600 ringgit so you just imagine um, uh, how they how how they you know make a business that but but of course employee would like to see would like to have uh, to choose or select good you know a uh, 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 good worker, a good engineer, right? And then this job portal, their their job is to advertise, to to make sure that the the vacancies or the advertisement reach to the best uh, the best candidates. 
So it is actually win win uh, situation. But if you if you are not a big uh, company or big employee, uh, you don't want to to spend um, that much uh, to make sure that your advertisement reach to the get to the potential candidates. Okay, so just to share with you um, now now uh, there are uh, there are a lot of vacancies now because the because the uh, uh, everything is resumed back to resumed back to normal in Malaysia right after they are shutting down all the economy I think more than two months it's like automotive they are shut down uh, total total shutdown automotive uh, only some of the manufacturer uh, are allowed to open during this during last uh, lockdown but now uh, but uh, all open that's why you you see uh, especially um, uh, sector you know tourists yeah? Um, they are not ready to receive a um, uh, lot of booking during last weekend. Everybody post uh, a video condemn um, the hotel tourist tourism tourist operator because yeah? they are not ready. Uh, they are shut down almost two three months. Or the worker uh, quit, they are not paying the worker, but now they are start to hire back, then it's not uh, instantly get all the worker, you know, to cover uh, all the, uh, to cover the, to cover back the business resume back to normal. So same goes to the other factory, hotel, you know, all business sector in Malaysia, everything is back to normal, and and those who just graduate, I think this is the right time you know, for them to easily get a job, you know, as engineer. I I I managed to I managed to ask one one. Uh, one company in in Cheras. This company is about automation, vision, special vision system, automation, robotic. I sent I sent email asking for the job. Uh, for example, today I sent within one day they reply accepted. They are invited to go for interview. Even they are offered immediately. They offer uh, for intern, for example, they are offered very fast now. They are like uh, uh, most of the uh, company, uh, factory industry now like uh, of uh, workers. So, so back to the, back to the knowledge just now, it is very important to, to get knowledge for this uh, computer vision subject. When you work as engineer letter, you you will experience of this uh, vision system. If you are working with the um, system design as well, you have you will experience this uh, letter. Eh? Uh, unless you unless you work with other other field uh, like power, some uh, uh, electrical power. Um, it's not really direct, huh? but some some of the electrical power field also uh, um, require you know vision inspection maintenance. So so this will help you to um, if you are working if you are work as engineer. Okay, so back to this slide: spatial and frequency domain. Spatial and frequency domain filtering. Spatial 
and frequency domain. I would like to highlight these two words, spatial and frequency domain. Uh, spatial, spatial uh, frequency, you may familiar with this frequency domain because uh, you learn this in digital signal processing, frequency domain, time domain, time domain and frequency domain. But in, uh, in image, we don't call a time domain, we call it, we call it spatial domain because, because image don't have time. All right, but image have frequency, but image because you just take one, one, one like that, one image. So we call it spatial. But it is similar with the time, lah, time domain. It's signal when when you acquire a signal data, signal is versus time, right? T. This is the spatial, but uh, time domain. But in image. It is not versus time because you just take one image, so we call it spatial. Spatial and frequency domain. So, so the analysis, if you look at like this just now, we do the analysis, very simple analysis, right? This is the analysis I'm not telling. This is also analysis. We analyze the image. So this analysis we call it spatial. And uh, there is analysis we call it frequency analysis both but the powerful is frequency lah compared to the spatial the most powerful i mean stable good have a good result frequency Sp spatial we can analyze in spatial but if the if our image is not difficult the analysis is not difficult then we use partial but if it if it is difficult uh, is is difficult to analyze the object is small blur so on a lot of problem then we use frequency but of course frequency require uh, a lot of things huh? mathematical you know processing uh, a lot of brain you know uh, for the frequency domain analysis so this is the this is the step right? this is a step for um, for the image processing or um, mission vision or computer vision or image processing this is the basic step right? this is what we are going to learn uh, I hope that you, you you can understand or you need to understand this one or eventually at the end of the semester you understand this step you know the um, the first one is image of course now if, if you don't have image then how you are going to process the image the last one is decision. Decision is that you have image. What what is the decision? Yes, no, good, reject. What face recognition, uh, object, remove noise, and so on. So this is decision. <clears throat> we will learn in this class, in this subject, until at the end, until decision. Not not only here not only here but until decision how you are going to make a decision it's like your it's like your final year project right i believe your final year project is up to the although you are doing sim, uh, simulation but you have to end your uh, project with the decision not not until here not until here you know uh, but if you do research in a uh, master level or phd level you you maybe just focus up to here just focus up to here. you don't care about this one. but as an engineer you have to come up with up until this one okay, okay. so image we do the pre-processing perform image processing future extraction classification and so we are going to learn this all this step okay 
all this step until at the end of the class or semester, you, you understand, oh, this subject is about image processing. You have image, process it, then you, you have a decision, final decision. So this is a chapter to me. Mm. Okay. The first step, the first step, uh, may, maybe this uh, slide is not really good uh, arrangement. So you have to you have to take note. If you just rely hundred percent from this slide, maybe you don't understand because because the some information not in the slide because some some explanation is just point. So you have you have like take note based on my explanation so we are going to have this one this one image enhancement image enhancement in, under this one under pre-processing image is sector because we are, we are not focused on this we just use a uh, camera as long as we have image can we we, we we don't learn type of camera you know uh, what kind of camera? So that one, uh, I assume that uh, image is that. Okay, we already got the image by camera in by image position. So first step is pre-processing. Eh? So this chapter three is about pre-processing. So this is the pre-processing, eh? the pre-processing uh, theory. We have image enhancement, fundamentals, partial full series, banyak, it's actually a lot of image enhancement, a lot. But this is just very basic. It's not basic, like just, just to pick up a few, a few, you know, uh, concept in the image <coughs> pre-processing. Okay. Right. Um, what is image enhancement? So by looking at the uh, the term too, you it is self-explanatory. I mean, enhance. We want to enhance the image. The principal objective of image of enhancement is to process an image so that result is more suitable than original. Enhance. We enhance the image because the image we the image that we got. It's not good, right? It's not clear. It's difficult. You know, it's difficult to to see the defect, for example, for certain uh, applications. So we have to do image enhancement in order to get a good image. Then we can perform next task, next uh, method. You know, if you don't get good image then how are you going to perform for the next um, step you know? but uh, uh, there is a there is there is a new algorithm which is they don't care about this image enhancement for the, for the image processing if 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 you want to do image processing, this is the step. Pre-processing, you know, we process feature expression, a lot of step. But uh, because this image processing was established maybe 10, 20 years ago, then people always do research on this image processing uh, because of the potential usage of this computer vision, you know. A lot of application computer vision because it is I. You, know? you may experience uh, there are a lot of sensor was designed, sensor, sense, a lot of sensors. 
uh, chemical sensor, bio sensor, electronic sensor, traffic sensor, a lot of sensors. But um, this vision, uh, it is just maybe 10 to, 10 to 15 years ago, we started to use. Because, because, the, because the capability of the computer to process. Right? It is different with the sensor, I mean, um, it's not vision sensor, lah, other signal sensor. Uh, you don't have, you don't require a process processor because it is more to the uh, uh, electronic, electronic or chemical. You know. But this one is totally with the computer. So 10, 10 to fifty years back. The technology of computer processor, especially, is rapidly uh, changed. I mean, now you have i9 already, i3, i5, i7, i9, even even more. You you cannot within like within a year they they are they invent a new processor, make it very fast because computer have to process a lot of things. Not only not only this vision or image processing, but other uh, tasks uh, of processing as well. So what I want to share with you uh, if this image processing if you look at this image processing there are there are a lot of steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one next step until you get this issue. But now, now, because the technology, computer, processor, graphic, so on, you don't worry about this one anymore. You just need to have this image and this decision. Okay. Image IMG. So you don't care what's going on. You don't care what's happening. You don't have to know what's inside here. You give this one, then you get decision. So you don't have to worry about pre-processing, image processing, picture extraction, classification, me, all this type of thing. Make your make yourself headache to understand all the theoretical. So now there is a technology where you still need to capture image lah. Takkan lah, tak ada lah, tak ada image, tak boleh lah. Got image, make decision. Got image, make decision. You don't worry about this. Eventually, there is no more image processing. No more. This knowledge will be um, eliminated, obsolete, eliminated. Because there, there is a technology where you just need to capture image. Then what, what you want from the image? Just put it into this box. Get the decision. Yeah. So, so I'm now uh, um, venture into this, you know, this one because I don't want myself um, uh, those who are in, in image processing expert in image processing will be left far behind if you don't follow this latest technology. So as for you, as for you, you have to learn <laughs> because um, just learn because this is good also for as a as a basic knowledge.
but just to, to let you know that you don't have to worry anymore about this all step to do image processing. What you worry is capture the image, go to this black box, decision. Who are going, who, who do this black box? Who do this one? Google. Uh, Google. Amazon. Uh, Alibaba.com. So this is all the, the giant and big company. Maybe Elon Musk also maybe doing this. I'm not sure. But the famous one is Google. Alexa. Alexa is Amazon. So this is this is giant company who are doing this black box. They have thousands of programmer, brilliant programmer from India, you know. Just stay there. Every day their job is to do programming. You know? So why we need to do this again? We, do we want to compete with this programmer, Google? No. no. So we just take it. Just take this whatever I've done, whatever uh, this Google or Alexa or, or any company who are um, do this program, we just use it and make a decision. Mm. So full stop, we useless, we study this image processing because we, have, we already have this technology. But just to say, just to share with you that this technology has been used a lot in uh, autonomous uh, vehicle, you know. So, you know, you just go and, and look at the, how the autonomous uh, technology of the autonomous vehicle. They don't do this step by step. Use. But if you have this knowledge, then it's, yeah, it's easy for you to pick up uh, this one. But if you don't have the basic knowledge on this image processing, then it's also okay. You just go and use all these available technology provided by Google. They are giving you for free. Google. All their technology is free. Okay. So that's the sharing knowledge. Sharing. Okay. Uh, image enhancement. Okay. Image enhancement is the process of making image more useful. The reason for doing this is we want to highlight interesting detail in the image. We want to remove noise from images. We want to. Remove. I share with you the project that I'm now doing, still struggling, you know, to to find the this one interesting detail in the image. Uh, because the, the the region that they call it ROI, region of interest, the object or the the defect, yeah, the defect that we want to analyze, it is it is difficult, very small, difficult. You have to to you know to do a lot of things. So, so this is what what we call it highlighting interesting detail in the image. If we cannot, if we cannot get, see uh, the the object that we want to analyze, then how we are going to analyze? Can, cannot. We have to we have to see by our eye first. Okay, we can see. Then we can do image processing. If you cannot see, then you cannot do image processing. I mean, by the image, by the image, RGB image, not visual image. Then you have to use another method of acquire uh, information, like sound, that That one is more advanced uh, image acquisition, but it still, it still need to see by that by your naked eye first before you do the image processing. If you cannot see, 
difficult to see. Humans difficult to see. Then you don't do a mission mission. Need human to see first. Then mission mission. Then. Oh, interesting. For example, this one. This one do enhancement so you get better image. This one also do better image. So this one do the image enhancement to get a good image. So this is the slide Photoshop now. Photoshop too. There are a lot of algorithm, image processing algorithm in the Photoshop. But user just user don't know what is what is what is behind uh, the mathematical or method algorithm behind the Photoshop. But the Photoshop, those who are develop the Photoshop, the programmer, they are very advanced. They are very very advanced. But that Photoshop software, they are not using it for for engineering, uh, machine mission. They are just for more to be a uh, uh, image, yeah, image enhancement, yeah, image modification. So the output is also image. But the theory in the uh, Photoshop is a lot of this image processing theory. So I think if they are engineer, jump or work in the engineering field easily, they can solve a lot of problems because they are very good in the in the in the fundamental of image processing. Okay. So let's let's look at this aspect uh, spatial and frequency domain. Our image processing analysis can be done in spatial and also can be done in frequency domain. Spatial domain is direct manipulation of image pixel. Uh, I, I, I explained to you at the beginning of this class the exercise just now. If you are if you have like F pro column, so that that one is the direct manipulation of image pixel. You have the image is at zero to two five five, right? So, what is the meaning of two five five? What is the meaning of zero? So, this one is all about direct manipulation of image pixel. You look at the pixel, then you interpret it, you analyze it by using some some method or some technique. So, this is we call it spatial domain. But for the frequency domain, we don't go to the pixel value. Uh, for example, you perform a Fourier transform. You don't care this is a value, right? You just apply the Fourier series to the data, to the image, then you get the output. So this Fourier transform uh, have their own principle. How 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 this uh, method or algorithm process? The image or the data. It is not a direct manipulation. It is based on the frequency, you know, of the image. So, if you want to see, if you want to see the pixel value of Fourier transform, you don't understand because it is, is come up with the, the output is a frequency. But for the direct manipulation, you can understand. For example, you multiply your image by two, right? You rim size or you amplify, you get the output. The output is, is direct. You apply mathematical formula, you get the output. But this one, you find the frequency. Then there are there are uh, there is a, a formula of the frequency. Then you get the output. Then you don't care about the, the single output, you know, the value of the Fourier transform. But what you get is uh, what information you get from the Fourier transform? So this is the difference between spatial and frequency domain. Okay, the term spatial domain refers to the image plane itself, and approaches in this category are based on direct manipulation. Frequency domain processing technique are based on modifying the Fourier transform of an image, modifying the Fourier transform. 
Now we are focusing on this partial domain, direct manipulation before we go to the frequency domain. Spatial domain. Frequency domain, we are got, I just, we are going to learn only from uh, Korea, lah. although there are a lot of uh, frequency domain, a lot of, lot of method or technique of frequency domain. But I don't want to go because it's difficult. You learn the frequency domain in other class, or you, you learn the Fourier series in mathematics. But until now, you don't understand what is the what is this? What is this Fourier series? You don't understand. Right? Although you get A for a certain subject, and you don't understand. So don't worry. Uh, if you still don't understand, you may not understand Fourier series. You will continue not understand the Fourier series up to this point, although you will get. So that's why I just take one Fourier series, very simple, very basic, just to show you how the analysis in the frequency domain. Although there are a lot of analysis or method like gradient, wavelet, temple, a lot of lot of frequency, a lot of analysis of image processing in frequency domain. But I just pick up only one. It's difficult to understand. It's not you who don't understand. I also don't understand. Okay. So, just just uh, as a knowledge, nah. people when people ask you, or oh, uh, have you studied the frequency domain in the computation? Yes. Yeah. So this is the spatial domain. The term spatial domain refers to the aggregate of pixel composing an image. Spatial domain methods are procedures that operate directly on this pixel. Uh, there are a few types. Uh, this word yeah, highlighted in this in the slide: direct manipulation, operate directly. Spatial domain process will be denoted by the expression. Like this. this is the one of the spatial domain uh, process. Yeah. I hope that you you can understand this uh, notation term. Uh, this term you learn in the in the mathematics. Okay. So so I hope that. But T is the transformation. F X Y is your image. G X Y is the output. This is your image matrix that you have tengok on the beginning of the slide t is the transformation spatial domain what what we want to what we want to perform on the image fx1 gx1 is the output after performing this t multiplied by fx1 transformation of this a notation or function is in the spatial domain. So go, we, we look at the more detail. The simplest form of T is when the neighborhood is of size X, that is a single pixel. Size of X, in this case, G depends only on the value of X, X, Y, and T becomes a gray level, also called N intensity or maybe transformation. Function of the form. So, so in here, this is the the notation that is denote, denotation denoted. This is the explanation. And if you if you understand, then it's good. If you understand, of course, when you look at this one, difficult for you to understand. I understand because because every time I. I explain this, you know, but you are first time. But try to understand, and if you don't understand, assume, assuming that you understand. What, 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 what? Then, if you don't understand, you look at this explanation. Oh, when you read this explanation, oh, still don't understand. Don't If you still don't understand, try read 10 times. 10 times. Okay. Okay. 
the simplest form of T. So I, I, I will try to explain it. Now, they are, now this is explaining about T in T. Because this, the, this T is the analysis too, image processing. We want to analyze the F by T in T. Okay. The simplest, you know, apa yang paling senang of T is when the neighborhood is of size X mod, modulus of X T ini sama dengan X size. That is a single pixel. In this case, G depends on the value of at X, Y, and T becomes okay. So, I don't know, explain that. Tapi lah, you try to understand. Eh? Okay, this is a still on this uh, T that is partial. This is an example. I will explain like this. Eh? explain the question. There is no slight explanation uh, detail. Lah. This is more if you, if, you, if you read this slide, slide you still don't understand about this theme. But, but listen to my explanation carefully so that you can understand the spatial domain and this, this T which is related to the spatial and its image processing or analysis. Okay. Look at this. Jangan tengok yang ni, dia ni dia ada dia macam susah sikit. This T. Uh, S equals to T R. Oh, lagi nak buat kita. Play level transformation function for contrast enhancement. So, ada nama dia. So, this is the function for transformation function. We call it transformation function for contrast enhancement. Nah, uh, So R, uh, zero, this is zero, uh, this is one. Uh, dark to light, dark to light. So this is the transformation. Transformation. Okay. Uh, Let me use this. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Let me use this one. Pet me. Beyond. Beyond. Okay. Uh, uh, this is um, this is T. This is the this is T eh? T S S equals to T R. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what is mean by this transformation? Eh? Uh, for example, if you have this image eh? and 200, 50, 100, ah, macam tu, 0. So, this transformation, T, is to transform this function F, X, Y tadi into G kan? Kita ada G tadi kan? Mana tadi? Ah, G. So, T ni can be 
this function. Uh, that to like if this one zero, this one like two five five. So m is uh, at the middle of this value. Okay. At the middle of this value. Uh, let's say one twenty. Okay. For example, m. So this uh, s zero. Let's say one. So, if you want to transform this image by this T transformation, 0 to 1, 0 to 1 to 0, 0 to 120, then transform it, tran change it, or transform it to 0. So, this one, macam yang kita buat tadi lah, 0. Uh, 120. Uh, less than, sorry, yang ni, this one. Uh, this one is zero. This one zero lah, dah zero dah. So this one, more than 120 is one. This is one. Okay. So this one is become to one. Boleh nampak ke tak tu? So this is what it means by T tadi tu, the, this one, T. This is the function, this is image, then you get the output G. So this is another function which is more complex sikit lah. This not straightforward kan, ini yes, no je. No, yes. Ini tak, uh, yes, oh sikit-sikit yes, oh, no, no. Dia, uh, dia ada macam gradient kat situ kan. I need more complicated lah. If identity, then okay. Identity means that if you want to transform your image based this identity, you are not transform. You you didn't do anything to your image lah because identity kan, identical same. But this one, ah, uh, ada n root log negative inverse log. So this is all the transformation. This is all the transformation by the spatial. By using this transformation. Uh, this is the linear transformation. This is negative. If you transform this one by the this negative, I mean negative ini kan, terbalik ini, then you get this output lah. The negative image. Ada Einstein dah jadi gitu dah. Hidup pun dia. Dia dah, ni hidup, dia meninggal, mati dah. By the negative. So this is the example of spatial. Ah, ni lah. Sama negatif ni. Eh? Log. Ah, ni lebih complicated lah. Log transformation. But the conclusion is this is all the example of transformation by pixel. Direct manipulation of the value which is spatial door. So the transformation can be macam ni, this graph or this graph or this one inverse law identity, linear transformation, negative transformation, this is negative transformation, log transformation, so on and so forth, then you get the output or the transformation or the G just now. Okay. Any question? Oh. So, before we stop, another 10 minutes. Okay, uh, I, 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 let me continue. So we will stop after this uh, histogram. Histogram is also spatial domain or spatial analysis or direct manipulation to the image. So what is histogram? Histogram, ni, histogram is a is a uh, definition shows show us the distribution of gray level in the image distribution of gray level if you have image macam ni kan and tiny you want to see the distribution of pixel value kan okay, macam ni because for example 
if you are asking to do the face face detection of course you want to see the distribution of pizza value you want to see the uh, how many zero how many 255 yeah, because the zero how many 100 value in this image because it will give you some information then you want to see first oh there are a lot of uh, 255 for example or oh, there are a lot of 100 100 pizza value 100 pizza values 100 in the image it gives you some early information before you go to the next analysis so this is the histogram lah. that is the basic definition of histogram okay it is common practice to normalize on it up any details so for when we have spoken about there are no reason why we have to use this range for many okay ni tak so this is the point of histogram histogram of any image shows us the distribution of gray level in the image we want to see the distribution massively useful in image processing especially in segmentation segmentation lah. apa maksud segmentation you want to segment the image segment for example in this image if you are asking to find a face then of course you want to do a segmentation you don't you have to analyze what is the background where is the face where is the body where is the hand so this is all segmentation even you yourself if you look at the image use you can differentiate can so what is what is the information uh what is the information or the source that you use to differentiate the object ni kan your brain uh ni put putih kan shape or background hitam so this is all the segmentation lah. when we want to realize it in the image processing in so there are there are a few terms one is the segmentation and about segmentation so histogram ni is useful lah for segmentation macam ni kan when you when you plot the histogram you have this distribution so this one come from a certain segment in the object sebab dia duduk kelompok dekat situ kan this one ada certain segmentation maybe this is background or this is what face or what and that's why they say that histogram ni is useful for segmentation ah pula ni and this is a common eh? saya sikit lah kot Okay, kita tengok yang ni. So, if you look at this, well, then you uh, tak, tak cantik kan? Then how the histogram looks like? Ha, macam tu. Histogram ni. Uh, histogram ni dia, it's plot 0 to 1. 0 to 1 lah. Because, because, uh, apa? Um, Normalize eh? It's actually 0 to 255. Tapi dia normalize. 16 means that they divide by 255. All value divide by 255. One ni is 255 lah. Because our pixel value is 0 to 255 kan. Scilab ni. Scilab ni is open source of MATLAB. The, there are software of open source. The the function is similar to MATLAB. Dia namakan Scilab. Free ni. Dia tak payah, tak payah bayar. License. So if you look at this, what's, what's come in your mind about this image? Gelap ni. Gelap ni kosong lah. Pisa value kosong ni gelap. Pisa value 255 is white, putih. So kata, oh gelap lah. Banyak gelap. That's why when you look at the histogram, dia banyak dekat at the beginning of the pisa value ni. Because zero is a dark. 255 ni bright, white. Uh, so, oh gelap. Oh, that's why no wonder because, sebab dia banyak dekat sini kan. Ah, oh, ni then you cakap, oh, oh sakit mata. Tengok. Sakit mata. Kan? Sebab apa? Oh, terang. Terang. 
terang sangat lah ni kan. Ya ke tu? Oh ya, back. See histogram kan. Dekat sini. Dekat 255. Dekat one ni lah normalize, normalization. Oh no wonder lah dia bright because because the pixel value punya distribution ni tak ada pun dekat hitam ni. It's, it's far from the zero ni kan. Oh that's why dia. So yang ni gelap ni terang. So the histogram dia you can differentiate eh. Histogram dia macam ni. So what what do you expect the histogram so that your image look good? Kan? Kalau dia dia punya distribution ni dekat tinggi ni banyak. Oh terang. Distribution dia dekat zero no oh gelap. So yang bagusnya Bagus ni macam mana? So you can expect that the good You can expect the the, the good Histogram kan? Istilah dia punya distribution Along the As in 0, 2, 2, 5, 5 Distribution dia cantik ni semua kat situ Ha ni pun tak bagus ni Tengah-tengah pula Ha ni kot Oh this is good lah sharp You can see it clear Then you see the Dia punya tu So now you understand. You understand the, the image kan? Gelap sangat, terang sangat, blur lah sebagainya. Then you look at by the Instagram. Okay. Uh, this is the summary. Okay. So if you get this back image, how to enhance? If you get this Bright image, how to enhance? If you get this low contrast image, how to enhance? In order to get this image. So, you can do histogram equalization. So, this is the formula of histogram equalization. You equalize this image, histogram, dapat macam ni, get the image. Oh, dapat macam ni. You get this dark, darker ni, dark image, then do the histogram equalization, dapat macam ni. So this is the image enhancement. So the detail of image enhancement, I mean the mathematical formula. So this is the example. How how the image, how the histogram equalization work. And yeah, this, this is the example. You um, I, you can, um, I would like to give you homework lah, task lah. Eh. Right, uh, you can study how to, uh, how to do the histogram equalization by looking at this example. Okay. But of course you will, uh, we will not do this like this, I mean the manual calculation macam ni. It is all done by the computer. Huh? Okay. Because the size ni besar. This is only very simple example. Je. Gray level pun tujuh. Je. Tak ada up to 255 kan. So, so please look at this slide that try to understand the Instagram acquisition. But if you want to perform image processing, it is all done by software. Lah. We are not doing it manually, but it is important to understand. Uh, to understand the mathematical punya. Itulah how it works. Eh? So this is all the equalization, transformation, banyak cara yang kita boleh guna. Bright image, equalize, dapat cantik image. Right, that apa cantik. Equalization <coughs> transformation function. Okay, so I think that's all for today's class. We stop at the histogram equalization. Uh, um, I, I hope that you can do revision. Uh, try to understand the example of the Example of this histogram equalization. Uh, let, uh, okay, there, there is a question. Yeah, yeah. You, you, uh, you ask a question, then you answer. So, divided by 255, then normalized, uh, normalized to 0, 2, 1 is correct. Most of my uh, example I didn't normalize, but some of the example in the slide, they are, 
they normalize it to zero to one. But it's but if you don't normalize, it's also okay. Okay, but the example that I showed to you just now is a normalized. That's why you 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 see zero to one. Yeah, is zero to to five. Okay, so that's all for today. Three twenty five. 324 uh you can get the more information or material in the in the column if you look at the column i uh, there is a there is a border i put there the previous semester uh that previous semester is not it's not the current semester if you if you see the assessment assignment just ignore it uh, uh, because that one is the previous semester. If I want to, I I want you to do assignment or quiz or test. Just look at this the current uh, 2021 slash 2022. Uh, uh, there is a quiz I set in the column. So just prepare uh, for the quiz. I think uh, next uh, Thursday, if not mistaken. Uh, you can you can look at the uh the date you know so just 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 prepare prepare for the quiz um just very simple lah. don't don't burden yourself to to i mean just prepare yourself for test lah. quiz just like because this you can you can go and refer uh, to this to the material slides okay Okay, uh, any question? If there is... Uh, sir. Yeah, I'm Amba. Uh, sir, so where we can review the videos for chapter two? Just now you have mentioned, right? You, you haven't sent the link in the WhatsApp group yet. Uh, uh, wh what is that? Review what? I mean, the for chapter two, sir. We, the videos, lecture videos. Uh, I think in the column, uh, you can you can uh, uh, get it the in the column short video uh, as well as the online lecture. Oh, okay. I thought sir, ha sir haven't sent me the YouTube link right in the WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you can get it from Kalam. But I will I will uh, I will uh, copy and paste uh, letter the the YouTube. Link. Okay. 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 okay thank you sir. okay thank you if uh, can we stop here okay uh, if there is no more question thank you very much for your attention uh see you again on this coming uh, thursday All right okay bye bye okay thank you prof have a nice day thank you sir thank you bro. thank you bro thank you bro thank you sir Thank you, sir.